What's up guys, Beardo of it's back here with another review, another one from Vaporfy, the Grand Reserve line. I feel like I'm speaking weird, am I speaking weird? I don't have a speech impediment or anything like that, I just feel like I'm speaking weird. Mouth gets really dry from vaping. Um, Vaporfy Grand Reserve Ketcha Latte. See the labeling? Same labeling as all the other Grand Reserve juices, just you know, a different picture. Got the latte, you got your nicotine warnings, all that stuff, hazardous, all that, you know, good stuff. Three milligrams, 60 milliliters. BGPG is 70 30. And if you saw my previous video, my, pre my previous video, um, I bought this with my own money. Um, was not sent, uh, so I'm unbiased. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Uh, available on Vaporfy.com. 60 milliliters is going to run you $26. They have it available in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams, which is uh, it's nice to see higher milligram, milligram content. And of course, they also have a, a 30 milliliter version. And um, I know I haven't mentioned in the previous videos, but on the website, it's uh, for the 30 milliliter version, it's showing. Um, different like uh labels you know same name and supposedly you know like the same flavor and stuff but um i don't think it comes with like you know these uh little collector addic addition boxes or anything like that so if you're into collecting boxes like i am uh that's a bummer you know uh but it, you know it might come with it in a 30 mil uh they just haven't updated on the website so i don't know now guys this one, uh, yeah, this is the highest rated Grand Reserve flavor from uh, Vaporfy. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember um, reading that this won an award in 2016 or 2015 for best coffee, e-juice, something like that. And I've been wanting to try this for like a good year, year and a half. It's been out for a while now. Um, same flavor from... Uh, you know when they first came out with it from you know what I can tell um, so yeah guys now ketchup latte is a supposed to be a vanilla latte I guess um, in the flavor profile it actually has four different flavors it has espresso steamed milk hazelnut and caramel or caramel however you want to pronounce it and also guys Google search Vaporfy coupons 2018 if you want to get like 25% off uh, you know e-juices and stuff like that uh, yeah, so it is kind of pricey about naked 100 prices, although you can find naked 100 for a lot cheaper All right guys enough of that on to the actual review. I'm sorry All right, let's give it a smell All right Now I'm getting an abundance of smells uh, It definitely it definitely smells like you know a coffee a coffee liquid. That's for sure um I can't say for sure that I've had um, exactly what this is portraying in real life, but it smells, you know, it smells fairly accurate. It smells like, you know, other kind of like coffee, um, you know, sugary coffee shit like that, you know, I've tried before. So yeah, I'm definitely getting the, you know, the coffee espresso smell. I'm also getting um, hazelnut, a little bit of hazelnut. And then I'm getting some kind of like cream. I'm, I'm, I'm like assume that's uh, the steamed milk and uh, maybe the espresso as well. Not so much, uh, you know, like a milk smell, but you know, like a, a subtle cream. And then I'm getting a little bit of caramel. Guys, this smells really good. It's, um, it's not mild. Um, it's, uh, it seems to be uh, fairly strong smelling, unlike the pineapple petal. It smells really good guys and it smells uh, sweet so not overly sweet for me but uh, the raspberry mocha was also overly sweet on the smell too so and I ended up liking the raspberry mocha a lot but yeah guys it smells really good all right let's uh, try and hurry this up now what am I vaping this on I'm actually vaping this on the smock g150 good and trust him over 10,000 puffs on it 
really underrated mod. I don't see a lot of people using this. Now, I got a new RDA. Well, I got two new RDAs. I got the Vaporfy Venom RDA, and uh, it changes colors uh, due to the temperature, you know, uh, the vape coming out and the coils and stuff like that. It's supposed to change like 80 watts. There's two different colors. There's like a gray and a white, and then white and a black, I think, something like that. I got the black and white. Pretty nice RDA. It was on sale, like 50% off, so I decided to get it. 22 milliliters or millimeters, so it's kind of a small RDA, and I honestly don't really like the drip tip, but it's uh, comparable to the Lush RDA. It's a really nice flavor RDA. It's a juice review. All right, come on. On the inhale. Also, I have two uh, fused aliens on here, oming at about. Uh, I know you guys don't really care, but I'll check for you anyways. 0.231 at 80 watts. Alright. Now, on the inhale, I'm getting the coffee espresso. Pretty much goes in the order of the smell, at least, uh, you know, in my opinion. Really nice, rich coffee. Um, it's not bitter. It's uh, kind of gives you the like, kind of like dry coffee taste. You know, it's you know, tastes pretty good on the inhale. Also picking up on the sweetness on the inhale. I can't really pinpoint it, but I'm gonna assume it's the the caramel or the caramel. A uh, tiny little bit of throw hit it may uh, take some time to get used to. As you can see, the RDA is changing colors. Juice review, all right? Um, but I have gotten used to it. So there's a little throat, throat kick. Now, let's go for the exhale. All right, guys, the exhale is where this um, juice really shines obviously. Um, you're getting everything that you smell. Um, you know, it, honestly, it probably tastes better. Um, on the smell, it's more, uh, you know, it's more like su uh, sweeter kind of, uh, kind of a smell. It still, you know, smells like, it smells pretty good. But on the taste, it's uh, not as sweet as it smells. Same thing with the raspberry mocha. And I feel like, um, Everything's more pronounced. Getting that nice espresso coffee taste. You're getting the steamed, uh, the steamed milk, the cream. Uh, getting the hazelnut. And then you, I'm getting the caramel on the the back end, like right at the end. Alright guys, I love this juice. It's uh, pretty damn good, honestly. Now, um, would I recommend this, guys? Uh, definitely yes, especially if you're into coffee flavors and you've been wanting to try a coffee flavor uh, for a while or you've been wanting to try this for a while, whatever. Definitely get it, guys. And uh, especially um, if it fits your flavor profile, if you like, you know, espresso, you know, creamy, coffee, sugary, uh, slightly caramel, you know, stuff like that, you know, definitely check this out, guys, one through five, oh, man, I, I want to give it a, I want to give it a, you know, I want to give it a, anywhere between 4.7 and a five out of five, but guys, this, um, well, with, uh, most coffee juices I found, no matter the matter, uh, you know, no matter the amount of sweetness, it usually, it just, um, overtakes the cotton even if it doesn't if it doesn't gunk it up the cotton you know once you put the uh, juice on you know on the cotton it's always going to taste you know have that little bit of coffee taste to it no matter you know what e liquid you're putting in there so i definitely don't recommend this uh in a tank unless you don't mind you know changing coils and stuff like that um and it does it, it, it's uh it's a coil killer guys it gunks up pretty fast uh not one hit wonder, 
level, but it does gunk up pretty fast. Probably gonna have to change after about two days, uh, depending on how you vape, you know, stuff like that. But guys, this is a damn good juice. I really wanna give it a five out of five, but it's a little pricey and you know, you'll go through cotton, you know, cotton um, a lot more frequently with this juice. But guys, I, I recommend the hell out of this. It's so nice in the morning, especially when it's cold out, and it's awesome at higher wattages, you know? Go as high as you want, or you can handle. Um, it, it just, you know, it tastes better that way, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, um, 4.5 out of five. I really wanna give it a, you know, five out of five, or a higher rating, but uh, can't do that. Yeah, guys, um, definitely recommend it. I love this shoes. Thanks for watching.